It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with chief investment officer, the man with the plan, happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious July weekend here in New York and New Jersey? And Pennsylvania. And Pennsylvania. Yeah. Hey, it turns out, Ryan, I'm a big football fan. You're a big football fan? I mean, I, yeah, I know you're a big Eagles fan. Looking forward to the uh, World Cup, the championships <laughs> the Sunday, and it's going to be France versus Croatia. Who are you and rooting for? I've just been in Croatia with you. It's, um, I'm rooting for Croatia. I mean, I love that Adriatic Sea, so I'm with you. And, uh, you know, I don't think we're going to take any slack not rooting for the French <laughs> from our <laughs> listeners. <laughs> Good point. But I like France, too. It's a beautiful country. Absolutely. Some of the best food. Lots of great things about France. So, Bob... I have some disturbing new stats for you about retirement savings. Want to hear them? Sure do. So just about 16% of baby boomers, and that's people born between 1946 and 1964. You just missed the cutoff because I think you're 1965, right, Dad? I Uh, wish. (laughs) (laughs) So they're very confident that they're going to be able to retire comfortably. So that's not a lot of baby boomers, 16%. And furthermore, the median amount that a baby boomer has saved for retirement right now is 164000 Oof, not good. Not good at all. And it gets even worse for women versus men. Men reported to have nearly three times the amount of retirement savings than women do across all age groups, with the median savings 42000 for women versus 123000 for men. So not only are we saving enough, but there's a big disparity between uh, women and men. You know, Ryan, that's the hardest part about uh, doing what we do for a living is that when we sit down with somebody and that 16 percent is very comfortable and, and confident, you know, the meetings are, are so much more fun, you know, to see that they're set for life, net of inflation. You can do some real creative things in terms of estate planning. It's those real hard meetings where the people haven't saved, where they've had hardship in their lives, where there's been a divorce and there's not enough money. And, uh, you know, really having a big reality check when those screens come up and show everybody's in the red and that's where you know planning can really help but even if you you find that you're not confident it's not too late that's the good message to bring here yeah exactly right you can it's never too late to start getting a plan in place planning is everything and on this show this morning we're going to talk about planning we have a great show this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom we're going to talk about cutting corners winging it with your retirement plan can be a very dangerous game to play Bob and I are going to discuss critical areas that shouldn't be overlooked when you're trying to make yourself financially secure. We're going to talk about the five basic goals for your money. There are five things your money needs to accomplish in retirement. Bob and I are going to break them down for you, along with this week's financial pornography. There's a lot out there in the media. You need to avoid it all costs. And on our Spotlight segment today, we have one of our star financial advisors, Certified financial planner Courtney Dominguez is going to be on the show, and she's going to talk about a real retirement case that she worked on to help give you some pointers and things you can do with your own retirement and investing to get you on your path to financial freedom. So let's hop right to it. Bob, let's talk about some of those critical areas we tend to cut corners on when building our retirement and investment plan. And the first one, I think, first and foremost, is we're just not financially organized. Well, that's a great point, Ry. Hey, just say I decide to come and see you in your office right now. And you say, um, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Come on in. I'll give you directions. And, you know, where are you? And I say, well, I'm standing in a field in the middle of New Jersey. Exactly (laughs) where? I have no idea, Rye. How can you give me directions? (laughs) That pretty much sums up most retirement plans today. If you had to be honest with yourself, do you really know where you're going? Have you really sat down and decided like, hey, at age 65, I want to stop working? Or if you stop working now, you really know how you're going to draw from your portfolio, what's your income gap going to be. My guess is, Bob, in our experience is you probably don't know these things. Just like sitting in the uh, in a field in New Jersey trying to figure out you know, to get to New York. Yeah. I mean, how's anybody going to give you directions if you don't know where you are and you don't know where you're going? It's even worse. But you know, when you think about it, there's really three core elements that everyone has to be concerned with. And that's risk 
and that's taxes, and it's your estate plan. So if you're not financially organized, how can anyone, any professional, let alone yourself, give you advice on what to do next? Yeah, and the other problem with that is you end up getting what we call a collection of investments, right? I mean, you get all these recommendations on what to buy. So you probably have like five, six, maybe even a dozen different accounts, different investments in there that were sold to you, but it really has nothing to do with what those goals are. And it's so critical to tie things back to their goals. The other thing, Bob, that I find in cutting corners, and you probably find the same thing, is ignoring some of the important details of your investments. Oh, yeah, right. I mean, it's, it's, uh, there's so many hidden pitfalls in a portfolio or in an investment if you really don't know what you own. Or even worse, you don't know why you own it. Because there are investments out there that aren't necessarily bought by the investor, right? They're sold. Yeah, I would say most investments are sold, not bought, unfortunately, in our in our industry. And I had that same situation this past week. I met with a guy. He just says, you know what? I just don't want my advisor to screw me. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> well, that's, that's I got fair. news for you. <laughs> unfortunately, in our industry, yeah. that happens a lot. You know, you just take the, the recent Department of Labor fiduciary rule. They're, they're not going to enforce it. And right away, the broker's going back to putting in the old rules where it gives them leeway to do what's suitable, what some people say, where they can hammer you in costs and fees. Well, and on this specific case, and I looked at his portfolio, and nevertheless, he had a lot of funds in there that had big front-end load charges on them that he didn't know he was paying. And they were probably the most expensive products he could possibly be in. And again, he, you know, he's been busy. He hasn't really looked at his finances. And now he's starting to look at these things and say, why do I own this stuff? Why am I paying these big commissions that I, I didn't know I was paying? So I think it's really important to understand what you own it, why you own it, and is it you know somehow attached to you getting to your retirement goals? And I would probably say, if you look at your portfolio, it's a good chance it doesn't. Yeah, you know, Ryan, I think one of the biggest frustrations I have, uh, if you go over the last 20 years, what's been the average return for the average investor? What have you returned? It's got to be like 2%. It's not pretty. Yeah. It's 2%. And it's really just about these two basic things not being financially organized and ignoring the details of your investment portfolio and not having a fiduciary who cares about you, who's obligated by law to make sure that you're getting a fair return. I mean, everybody can be a successful investor. Everybody. Yeah, that's right. But I think you just have to look at and assess your own situation and what's appropriate for you. Because you can have a lot of great investments, but are they appropriate for what you're trying to accomplish? I know. And that's what you really got to think about, Ryan. You're sitting there. Do you have a portfolio that's appropriate? You know, It doesn't matter what Warren Buffett's doing. It doesn't matter what Greenlight, the hedge fund that's short Amazon right now is doing. It matters what you're doing versus your goals, right? It's really a personal decision. And you've really got to be accountable to yourself and your family and because if you don't take care of yourself, guess who will? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> or you're going to put yourself in the hands of the government. And if you would think the government's going to take care of you, just think about how the American Indians fared. Oh, Bob, that's harsh. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a plan. I need to make sure my investments are on track to get me to where I need to get to in retirement. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 safe for retirement. Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that addresses everything. Just bring your statements in as they come in this month. Stick them in a folder. We'll go through all of it. We'll build you your own personalized portal so we can get a bird's eye view. And we can look at all the really core components to what make a great investment strategy. Number one, we're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? Do you know what you own? Do you know why you own it? We're going to dig down and show you how to reduce cost and get a better diversified portfolio. Because we're going to look at that diversification. What risks do you have in your portfolio? If the market goes down tomorrow, are you protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Income so critical in retirement. You need to replace your income in retirement. We're going to show you how to fill in that income gap by optimizing the income on your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844 844- 752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will run for you your own.
total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Managing Director and Chief Investment Strategist at Payne Capital Management. Stocks rose on the week to a five-week high as investors put trade concerns on the back burner as the banks kicked off what many believe will be an excellent quarter for earnings. Shares of tech companies led the market higher with the NASDAQ, index, the small company growth index, large company growth index, and the mid company growth index, all touching or exceeding all time highs in price. Overall, profit results are expected to build on the strong first quarter and analysts expect 20% year over year gains over the next four quarters. That's about as healthy as a stock market gets. And if earnings come in anywhere near these estimates, it's going to be very difficult to see stock prices fall. Remember, stocks are the slaves of earnings. And one of the most widely watched indicators, the P-E ratio, that's calculated by dividing the current price, P, by its earnings per share, E, and there's no P without E. And it looks like earnings are going to be much higher. The economy also got a fresh sign that inflation is moving higher. The consumer price index, which gauges the prices you pay on most goods, rose 2.9% from last year. This is the highest level since February of 2012. The latest reading puts inflation closer to where Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell wants it and confirms his observation that the U.S. economy, quote, is in a really good place, unquote. Now, historically, the third quarter is the worst quarter for the stock market in any year. But what happens when the S&P 500 is higher in April, in May, in June, like it was this year in 2018, How about the third quarter has been higher nine of the last 10 times? So for now, let's ignore the noise and stay invested. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, are you sure your investments are appropriate for your goals? Why sit there and wonder when you can know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain. Now, back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I are simple men, so we always want to keep it very simple for you. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's just a simple baseline to get you started on the retirement planning process, make it less daunting, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. Get yourself started on the retirement planning process, what you need to know about creating an income. You cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. So Bob, in baseball, and I know you're a baseball fan, There's something called the five-tool player. Are you familiar with what the five-tool player is? Well, I am, Rye. But before we talk about that, I want to let you know, when I come back next time, I'm coming back as a left-handed pitcher who can throw a 95-mile-per-hour slider. And that is such (laughs) a unique ability. That's a very unique ability. (laughs) I think of all the things you can come back as, that's what you're picking. That's, uh, That's an interesting choice. Yeah, it's good for like twenty, thirty million a year. I mean, sure, why not? I like that, and then hopefully uh, I'd still be your son and inherit all that money later. So uh, you're, you're gonna inherit it no matter what, buddy. So you're in good shape. <laughs> <There. That's laughs> but it, I'm when done you're talking about today. a baseball player, there's five skills, and the five skill player has these is a uh, one of the best players in baseball, and that's somebody who can run fast, right? Who right. has great arm strength, you know, can really bring that ball, hits for average, right? I mean, if you bat three hundred in baseball, boy, you're a good baseball player today. And you can hit for power, right? You can you can hit those doubles and triples and home runs. And on top of that, you can win a gold glove because you have great fielding ability. So if you have those five specific skills, you're what we call a five-tool player. Yeah, and uh, to tie this into retirement planning and financial planning, just like the five-tool player in baseball you know, possesses those, those five very specific skill sets, in my mind, Bob, in retirement, your money 
needs to accomplish five very specific things as well. And those five things in my mind are, when you're thinking about your retirement plan, are emergency funds, regular income, long-term growth, health care, long-term care coverage, and legacy planning. So why don't we talk about those? You know, why don't we talk a little bit about emergency funds? Why is that so critical as a, one of the skill sets your money needs to have in retirement? Hey, Rod, it's real simple. You just want to have a fund that is there for any event you have an emergency. Therefore, thus the emergency fund. Makes sense. <laughs> now, what I find is you have way too much money in that emergency fund. Most of you have way too much money in cash and not invested properly. But the number one ingredient to being a five-tool player in investing is to have that emergency fund. Yeah, and I don't like to use rule of thumbs, but I think we talk about this a lot. Having at least six months worth of expenses makes a lot of sense. And you might say, whoa, that's not enough. I need more than that. I would also recommend maybe working down to that because the problem is, Bob, we talk about this a lot, is money sitting in cash earns nothing. <laughs> so you know, you don't want to overweight your emergency fund, whereas your money could be working for you, earning dividends and interest, and income is so critical in retirement. Good point, Ryan. What's the second part of being a five-tool player? Which goes back right to that point, regular income, right? You need income in retirement. We talk about that income gap all the time. And if you have to replenish the income when you're not working anymore, ideally, it's got to come from somewhere. And a lot of times that's your portfolio. That's the biggest fear you have as you're facing retirement is what happens when that regular paycheck doesn't come in on a weekly or biweekly basis? Well, to weigh that out against the other thing is, Bob, you need current income, but you also need long-term growth because let's face it, inflation Things are going to cost more in the future. You're going to have unexpected costs in the future. Your money's got to grow to account for those things. You can't just put everything into safe investments, generating current income. Yeah, you have that biggest risk. The biggest risk to you right now is that hidden insidious tax called inflation. It's real. It compounds. It works against you. And if you do not take it into account into your financial planning, you are putting your family at risk. Yeah. And the other thing you have to consider is you're going to need money down the line for healthcare probably because the problem is, it's a good problem to have is we're living longer. And most likely if we're living longer, there's going to be more need for medical expenses. And the one thing I find, Bob, in most wealth plans or retirement plans that are run today, that doesn't get accounted for. And that could be a huge, huge chunk out of your portfolio in retirement. And the experts estimate that you're going to spend about 250000 on healthcare and retirement, that doesn't even account for the technological innovations that are happening right now in medical care. You know, genetic research and and with technology, life expectancy is going to keep expanding. That means you, and you have to make sure you have a fund available to pay for your long term care. Yeah, that's right. And I think the question you have to ask yourself is: If my portfolio took a quarter of a million dollar hit tomorrow, would that affect the lifestyle that me and my spouse have in retirement? And I, I would bet the odds are you probably haven't run those numbers. So make sure that your financial planner is doing that. But if not, you have to have some kind of contingency plan in your portfolio that really looks at those type of things. Unexpected costs in retirement, medical being the highest. And Bob, finally, for our five tool money uh, plan here in retirement, your money needs to be prepared for a legacy, right? I imagine you would love to have your money go to your heirs and not to Uncle Sam. Well, it's not just your heirs. You also have charities, favorite charities that you supported your whole life. You might want to endow a, a chair at your university. You might have you know, a specific cause that you've been supporting your whole life or it's had a big impact on your life. But I see a lot of times you let this legacy tail wag your investment dog. So it's really kind of a hierarchical list of, of needs. And you want to make sure that you're taken care of first, that you have all these other four tools in place before that fifth tool comes into play, legacy planning. Yeah, exactly right. So just to recap there, Bob, you want your emergency fund, but you don't want to have too big an emergency fund where you're not earning income, which hence, secondly, you need to have regular income on your money in retirement, but you also need your money to grow for you because of unexpected things in the future and inflation. You got to factor in healthcare, long-term care coverage with your money. And lastly, you want to make sure that you have your money set up to go to the next generation with the least amount of government partnership. And if you want to be a five-tool player, all you have to do is be one of our next 10 callers who have saved at least $200,000 for your retirement. Ryan and I will create for you our renowned total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. 
And all you have to do is call us. And if you're one of the next few callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to review your tax return and be certain that you're not paying any unnecessary income taxes. We're going to look at your estate plan. 42% of you don't even have a will. If you're one of those, we're going to get you on the path to creating an estate plan that's not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we just finished the second quarter. All of your quarterly reports, all your monthly statements are in your mailbox. You know what? Throw them in a shopping bag. Pick up the phone or text us. We're going to take all that data and break it down into our famous investment analysis spreadsheet where we're going to analyze your portfolio for the three key elements of a successful strategy, diversification, fees, and income. The only free lunch on Wall Street is diversification. Let's make sure you're getting your share. Fees, you don't want to be overcharged by those hidden costs that are buried deep in the prospectus of your mutual fund or in that big fat insurance contract. And lastly, we talk about it every week. Let's make sure you don't have an income gap while you're retired or while you prepare for retirement. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan that's going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? or is your money going to outlive you, utilizing strategies that my son and I have now been perfecting for over 40 years. That's right, folks, for four decades. We've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as only a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- Seven five two six six nine two. If you're one of the next ten callers and you have over two hundred thousand dollars saved for retirement, eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. Here's your shot to get that second opinion. Make sure you're on track at eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's call or text eight four four seven five two six six. Nine two. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what'd you find out there this week in the horrid world of financial pornography? Never ceases to amaze me, Rye. Citigroup is predicting a full-on bear market Oh my God. months. Months, man. They are so accurate. They're so accurate. This comes from a, a company whose stock is about the same price it was 10 years ago and one of the greatest bull markets in history. <laughs> well, I guess it sounds like they've been in a bear market for quite a while. Well, I think that's the problem. I think a lot of these strategists who have been predicting doom and gloom just continue to do it. And one day they'll be right. They're like a broken clock. They're right like two times a day. But you know what it does for you is it keeps you from investing properly. And that's the whole issue we have with financial pornography. No one, I mean, no one's capable of predicting what's unpredictable and knowing what's unknowable. And right, why do Wall Street strategists exist anyway? To make fortune tellers look good, Bob. <laughs> well, they do serve that purpose, that's for sure. And so, you know, making predictions about what might happen means that you may end up getting out of the market early, right? You, you get out of the market early. And why would you get out of the market, right? It's all about asset allocation, diversification. You really want to have a strategy that achieves your goals. And when you're sitting there worried about when the next shoe is going to drop, you never invest properly. You're too busy worrying about, you know, the negative as opposed to accentuating the positive. And returns on the market isn't all about buying low and selling high, is it, right? No, it's not. And I think that I see that a lot right now. A lot of what we would call the conventional wisdom, per se. And you might be thinking this yourself, that, hey, you know, the market's been going up now for almost over 10 years 
the shoe has to drop soon. Well, there's an old saying, bull markets don't die of old age. So that's not necessarily true. This market could go on for a long, long time before you get a quote unquote correction or you see the market go down. But more to your point, Bob, I think what we have to think about when we're building our portfolio for retirement is not if the market's going up or down, but you got to remember your portfolio generates income. Money in the market generates dividends. And that's one of the real magical parts to retirement is having that increasing cash flow coming from your stocks. Well, you know, Ra, I think it's uh, not about right or wrong. It's about appropriate. Is your portfolio appropriate for your situation? And a lot of you lost money in every bear market because you didn't rebalance your portfolio as you've made money. So I think the one good message coming from this article is to look at your allocation. Do you own the appropriate investments for what you're trying to accomplish for your personal retirement and for your family's legacy? Yeah, exactly. If your portfolio is contingent upon what an analyst is predicting is going to happen in the market, and you're thinking to yourself, I need to get more defensive in my portfolio, that's a problem right there. What you want to think about is, is my portfolio correctly allocated for what my long-term investment goals or my retirement goals are. So, you know, if the focus isn't on that, you don't have a retirement plan, you have what Bob and I call a collection of investments. And that's a red flag. The other thing I found, Bob, this is more of a I wouldn't call it financial pornography, but I'd call it a financial red flag. I saw an article this week saying that the consumer prices have risen at the fastest pace in six years. You know, U.S. consumer prices rose by 0.1% in June. Now, you know, what this means is that we're starting to see a real steady buildup of inflation, which means the cost of living is really starting to go up. Well, that could be a problem. Is some of that uh, because of the tariffs that have been passed, right? That has a little bit to do with it. But I mean, in general, what we sometimes forget is the economy is really heating up right now. And wages are probably one of the bigger places we're starting to see it. When you have low unemployment, that means all of a sudden employers have to start paying their employees more and more money. So people are making more. So there's a lot of different things that are playing into uh, you know higher prices. Well, we've had low inflation for a long time. I think a lot of you are not positioned properly for inflation. So the portfolio that you that brought you here for the last 10 years is not necessarily the portfolio to have over the next 10 years, right? The history doesn't always repeat. And I think a lot of you are not aware of how much inflation will have an impact, not just on your cost of living, but on your portfolio. That's right. So that's a great point, Bob. And I think that's something you have to start thinking about. You know, inflation is kicking in. Do you have what we would call inflation hedges in your portfolio? Because the portfolio I had the last 10 years is most likely not going to be as successful the next 10 years. And it's really important to make sure you're repositioned for things like higher inflation, which clearly are starting to happen. You know, I hate seeing inflation because I, I just I read an article today that my Chick Fil A sandwich may go up in price, and that could be that could just be the end of it for me. You know, that's like the healthy junk food now, um, and I might have to pay more for it. Right? We know you like that Chick Fil A, Bob, and I would hate to see inflation ruin one of your favorite meals. So I think the important thing to think about right now is you know the, the thing with markets is you want to do a checkup on your investments before something bad happens, not after the fact. And I think right now it's more critical than ever because we've had a huge run up in the US markets over the course of the last decade. But if you look at it historically, Bob, the US markets, they're not always the hottest place to be and that changes over time. Yeah, and I would caution you, right, to think about, you know, inflation is rising, short-term rates have gone up, stock market has been volatile, but you shouldn't invest based on anticipation. We don't know where inflation is going to go. A lot of people argue today that, you know, because of technological innovations around the globe, inflation is not as big an issue as it was in the past. And that, you know, you don't necessarily want to think, oh, we're going to go back into the hyperinflation period of the 70s and we're going to have 14 percent 30 year treasuries. It's best to invest based on your goals right? Not anticipate where rates are going, where the stock market is going, where inflation is going, what's going to happen with trade tariffs. You know, it's that conventional wall of worry that, uh, you know, keeps people on the sidelines where they should stay invested. Yeah. You need re you, what you really need is an all weather portfolio that's tied into your goals. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a review of my portfolio. I need a checkup. 
before something bad happens, here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you're one of the next few callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, we'll save you a slot and we will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that encompasses everything. All you need to do is just bring in those statements as they come in this month or print them off the printer. We'll take all of it and we're going to build you your own personalized portal to give you a 360 view of all your finances. And we're going to look at all three critical components. We're going to look at diversification. Is your portfolio ready for the next 10 years? If the market goes down tomorrow, are you protected? We're going to show you how to build the portfolio the next 10 years and show you how to protect it at the same time. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden cost in investment portfolios. There's a lot of fees that you don't see. Bob and I are going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Income is way more reliable than the market going up over time. We're going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio to fill in that income gap. And then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you need to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Get a clear picture of your finances. I can't see nothing. Got to open my eye. Let's get back to the show. It's no pain, no game financial radio. Bob and I like to give you common sense, practical advice because we're practical men. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. Just a great way to get the retirement planning process started. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. You can get the whole series for free. What you need to know about creating an income, you cannot outlive. Just get started. Make it easy on yourself. You can text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about me and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web at www.bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can actually sign up for the show there. And yes, Bob's hair is real, but check it out for yourself. You can check me out most weeks. I'm on CNBC and Fox Business News, just giving up-to-date market commentary. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can email us at questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a really good question, Bob and I will answer it right here on the show. And to help us with questions this morning, we have our producer, Mr. Mark Haywood, 
What's happening, Mark? Good morning, gentlemen. How are we doing? No complaints, man. Just hanging out here on the radio, taking yeah. questions from the fine folks of New York and Philly. <laughs> you sweating the wedding yet, more importantly? Ooh, we are a week out, and if you can believe it, I'm actually in a wedding tonight. So I don't. I think I must be crazy. You know, there are rules against being married twice, Mark. (laughs) (laughs) You know, as long as both spouses don't know about each other, I think you're you're in good shape. (laughs) It's expensive, though, pal. You better be here. You better look at your plan before you. (laughs) You need a a total financial master plan. Yes, a master plan for life and for marriage. You guys do any (laughs) counseling services? I don't know if you want my advice, but Bob might be better. (laughs) Oh, boy. We better get to these questions before Ryan gets us in trouble here this morning. (laughs) Uh, Let's kick one off here. Let's kick it off with Andy and Malvern. Bob, how much of my portfolio is it okay to have invested in just one stock? I have about $2 million, but almost half of it is invested in one company. Wow. Wow is right. Hey, Ryan, how about that? You know, $2 million with half in one company. So I hope, Andy, you picked a a company that's thriving you must have. It's probably it's doing very well to help you create this kind of wealth. But we have an expression, right? Don't, when you concentrate your portfolio, you create wealth. But if you want to maintain your wealth, you should diversify. Yeah. And the hardest time to do that is obviously if the stock is going up. But Bob, I mean, you're the perfect example. You own Merrill Lynch stock for most of your career and the stock went up your entire career. And you decided at some point when the stock was doing really, really well, which is a hard time to do it, Maybe I should take my own advice and start to diversify my net worth. Well, that's the problem, right? When you're a shoemaker, you have no shoes. I was so busy helping other people diversify their portfolios and never dawned on me that I was taking extraordinary risk by having three quarters of my net worth in one company. That company happened to be Merrill Lynch. And fortunately, I had an advisor named Ryan who called me one day and he said, let me get this straight, dad. We're going to diversify every portfolio that we meet. Everybody should be in a diversified portfolio to minimize the risk and give you a higher probability of success. It applies to everybody in the universe except for you. <laughs> well, I have to say my good advice is always good advice. Well, you, you saved me financially because uh, as many of you know, Maryland stock peaked at 96 and went to two without having an advisor. Now, here I am, a a professional financial advisor for 30 years. And my advisor, my son, said, hey, it's time to diversify. Didn't want to take the capital gains. My cost basis was low. It's a good dividend. And besides, I work for the greatest company in the world. You know, all the wrong reasons for having an over-concentration. Fortunately, I got out of all my stock at a huge capital gain, paid the IRS. But I'll tell you what, I don't know mentally how it would be if you saw millions of dollars go to zero. I know I wouldn't yeah. have been able to handle it and I'll be forever grateful, right? And that's why we don't believe in single stock speculation. Mentally fragile yeah. is the word, Bob. That's what you'd yeah. be. Well, two okay, things to yes, think mentally about Mentally fragile. Not that yeah. I'm not, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, single stock investment is, is speculation. It's a gamble. And why would you gamble with your financial future? Yeah, well, two things to think about there too. I think it's very hard to diversify, like, like I said before, when the stock's going up. But two, you know, the argument there was Merrill Lynch was around for almost 100 years. And in a matter of only a couple months, basically went to almost nothing. So it doesn't matter how long a company's been around, markets change, management teams change, a lot of dynamics can change over the course of you know a stock's life. Look at General Electric's, another great example of it, was the bluest of blue chip stocks, And now the company is basically a shell of what it used to be. Well, Andy, thanks for writing in. Thanks for providing us with some good conversation. And good luck to you, by the way. Make sure that portfolio is well diversified. Let's move over now to Greg on Syosset, Long Island. Ryan, I'm being offered an early retirement package from my company that includes a severance package and a pension buyout. Is it wise to consider this? It could be. You have to run the numbers. As always, sometimes the buyout packages can be a great deal and essentially how you take that package, there can be a lot of different ways to do it. You know, Going back to, we just talked about individual stock risk or individual company risk. A lot of times it is nice to get that buyout package and take the money and run because you know the longer you keep the money with the company, the more risk you have if that company goes out of business or stays in business over your lifetime. Hey, Ryan, I don't think this is any different than what Andy was doing is having an over-concentration in one stock. That pension is only guaranteed by the company. And that company goes under, like you pointed out, you lose your pension. So unless the numbers are really ridiculously beneficial to stay, it would make sense to take a payout, put it in your own name, 
and have control over the risk of the principal. Yeah, I think it comes down to opportunity cost, and that's what you have to figure out. If you kept working for the company, what would you make, and how does that fare against you taking that money, investing it passively? Because right, the idea of having a, a a beautifully diversified investment portfolio that you don't have to maintain per se, or right? the income's coming out passively to you, is a lot less work than the headaches of whatever you know, Greg, you're doing on a, on a daily basis at your company. So those are the things you have to, to weigh out on an opportunity cost. It's not only the financial side of it, it's also the, the headaches of continuing to work, which I think is an also an important thing to, to factor into any decisions you make with your retirement. Yeah, it just points out the one thing where Andy and Greg both sound like they're loyal employees. They love the companies they work for. And that's a big risk. You know, not only do the chairman and the president of companies diversify the risk they have of working for a company, you know, some of the employees feel like I have to stay loyal. Well, you know, it, it, the market doesn't stay loyal to you. You know, you can love a company, but the company doesn't necessarily love you back. It's, it's really a business. And it's not about being disloyal. It's about being a smart investor. And you have to look out for yourself. You have to make sure that your principle is intact. And just because a company's been around for 100 years doesn't mean it's going to be around tomorrow. You know, Rye, the big risk in a company is a company can go under and a stock can go to zero. If you diversify across a market, no market has ever gone to zero, right? Markets go up and down, but they never go to zero. Diversifying risk is the most paramount thing when it comes to your portfolio. I think the thing you need to consider as you're getting into your 50s, 60s, and even 70s, and you're making these financial decisions, it's not like when you're younger and your biggest asset was time. Now your biggest asset are your financial assets and making the right decision. And again, not putting too much money into one stock or doing things that could hurt you financially are much more critical than they were when you're younger. That's why it's so important to run these numbers and to put together a full financial analysis. I think a lot of you don't realize that a pension is simply a portfolio that's invested the same way you can invest the money. Instead of having it invested by the company for you, where you don't, you're not certain if they're doing it properly or not, you can take that money, invest it into your own portfolio, have control of your financial life, and be certain that, that money's going to be there in the future by having a diversified portfolio of high-quality investments. Now, Rye, I want to ask you a question. Ask, Bob. On a scale of 1 to 10, would you say that Andy and Greg are financially organized? It's not pretty for Andy and Greg. I think they're on a scale of 1 to 10, like a 3. They need to get their act together. And I think if we asked them on a scale of 1 to 10, where would you like to be? I think everybody would say, I'd love to be a 10. Well, if you'd like to be a 10, all you have to do is be one of our next few callers, as long as you've saved at least 200000 for retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal, which will not only update your net worth in real time, but it will also display all the great goals of life and how you're progressing towards those goals and also alert you once you've reached those goals. If you're one of the next few callers, here's exactly what you can expect from us. We're going to have our CPA partner review your tax return to make sure you're utilizing every tax benefit available to you as a U.S. citizen. We're going to look at your legal documents. 42% of you don't even have a will. We're going to get you on a path to creating an estate plan that's not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, get all those investment statements. So it's the end of the quarter. All of your statements have come in. Let's get those reviewed. You don't have to open the envelopes. Just grab a shopping bag, throw them in, pick up the phone, text us, make an appointment. We're going to break down your strategy to make certain that you have the three key elements of a successful portfolio, diversification, cost, and income. You want to be truly diversified across asset classes and within asset classes. I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged. I certainly don't want to be overcharged by my investment portfolio. And we want to fill that income gap, whether you're currently retired or you're in that financial red zone getting ready for retirement. And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, which will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my son and I have now been perfecting for over 43 years? That's correct. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844 844- 752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, we still have a couple slots left. Give us a call or text 
844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844 844- 752-6692. That's text the word cash, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Bob and I, we like to keep it simple for you because we're simple men. And that's why we put together our latest video series, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive, you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's B U L L I S H, to 555 888. That's the word bullish, to 555 888. Get a nice baseline to get the retirement planning process started. Check it out. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Simply text the word bullish, to 555 888. That's the word bullish, to 555 888. And now, it's my favorite segment of the show. We have our, our superstar financial advisor, my colleague, Bob's colleague, certified financial planner, Courtney Dominguez. Man, that was an intro. Good morning, Court. Thanks for being on the show with I'll us. I'll take the intro. I like it. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Just go on and on. <laughs> many initials. You can't even read your card. Courtney, it's, it's full of so initials. <laughs> Designations. So many accolades. And this is our spotlight segment, basically, where we dissect a real financial plan and we look at just some of the mistakes people are making with their planning and investing, how you corrected them. Why don't you discuss with us the case you worked on this past week and some of the changes and adjustments you made to help get these people on track for their retirement planning? Yeah. So I'm actually looking at a case that I worked on this week. But the interesting thing is I have seen two almost identical cases like this over the last couple of weeks, and I think it's probably something we're gonna be seeing more often. Really? It is. And it's kind of a concern that I have with a lot of um, people looking forward. And you guys are talking a lot about income planning and income sources in retirement. Right, income is paramount, right? You gotta fill that income gap in retirement. Exactly. So what's been happening recently is interest rates have been very low. So a lot of people are starting to look at other sources that are giving higher income than high quality bonds are paying. So for example, we have people with bonds that are very low quality. For example, I'm seeing a lot of Puerto Rico bonds in there, which have very attractive yields, but we may not get our money back at the end of the day, which is a huge risk that we're starting to see. Right, as Bob likes to say, uh, return of my money is better than a return on my money. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah, I'm looking the, at this one bond they have in their portfolio is down 36% in the last 12 months. Ouch. Yeah. Junk bonds is what we call them. Which, luckily, the both clients that I've worked with who've had these are well aware of this, and this is actually why they're getting second opinions, because their advisors were just saying, no, no, hang tight. It's getting you good income, so don't worry about it, which is not what you wanna hear when you're nearing retirement. And yes, you need the income, but you also need the safety of your principal. You need both of those items, and those kind of bonds are not gonna give it to you. That's right, there's a big difference between getting a high yield and a high quality yield. Exactly. And another place people are really reaching for yield right now is in things like alternative investments. So. A good example of that is energy. That's actually one of your highest dividend paying sectors in the stock market. And I'm okay with owning a piece of that, but that should not be a substitute for your bond income. 
Now, the interesting thing too is both of these clients that I was working with both have parents who they are also overseeing their finances. So they have advisors who are seeing their investments as well as their parents. Both of their parents are in their early 90s and they are using energy as the sole focus for getting their income. So wow. yes, they will get good income co- from it, but they have no safety protection. And we have people in their early retirement, but also people in their early 90s who have no way to protect their principal. That is a huge risk, and you don't want to be reaching for income, but be foregoing potentially not having the principal at the end of the day. Well, it's, you know, it's kind of like the uh, mythology, Greek mythology, Icarus, you know, when he flew too, too close to the sun, the wax melted and he fell back to earth. It's what happens when you reach for yield. Right, so bad things happen, and uh, your wax will melt, and your portfolio will fall back to earth and crash. So you want to be real careful in a low interest rate environment. What you do in terms of of seeking yield? Yeah, no, it's a great point, and I like the fact that we're using Greek mythology. It's a very highbrow show, so I commend you, Bob. Uh, it is so- right. You know, I did go to college. <laughs> so, Courtney, what did you do to to really help out? this specific couple to get away from these higher risk yields that they're in now where their principal is really high, really high at risk at the moment. Exactly, so I look at this as two separate items. I do want that safety of principal and I want the income for them so we can build out an institutional high quality bond strategy where all of their bonds are really the best that are out there, they're gonna give you good income, but I do still want the growth on the growth side. I just, if I'm gonna take risk, it's not gonna be in bonds. I specifically own those for safety. So we want a piece of their investments for long-term growth, well diversified in the stock markets. But when I look at their bond side, that I wanna get much safer for them and still get that consistent income they needed. And in this case, we are still more than fulfilling their income gap that they need and getting the long-term growth, but they have a lot more protection of their principal than they do right now. Yeah, owning your bonds the way you own them is so critical and it's so important right now to look and see, do you own junk bonds? Do you own bond funds where your principal is not assured to be returned? Exactly. And actually they have bond funds in there too. They have bond funds, Puerto Rico bonds, and uh, high energy yielding stocks, which is really not where they need to be, right? Going into retirement. Bob's worst nightmare. (laughs) To say the least. (laughs) This is a good example of a collection of investments. You know, the thing that caught my eye, they have mutual funds within their annuity. And as we all know that there's different classes of mutual funds, A, B, C, D, and I. Courtney, what are the most expensive mutual funds you can invest in, in terms of, you know, your cost as an investor? Yeah, so definitely you wanna be looking at the internal cost of those funds. I'm looking at that same account you're looking at, Bob. We actually, couldn't find all those funds. Even looking at their statements, we had to specifically call the company to find out that they're paying over three and a quarter percent per year to own those funds that they're in, which is astronomically high. Because they own the A share. Stock market's not even up three and a half percent this year, so they're not even breaking even yet. Exactly. That hurts. Well, Courtney, great job on this case, as Bob would say, another financial masterpiece. (laughs) And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a review just like this. I need to know what kind of risks I have in my portfolio. Do I have a lot of risky, higher yield type of investments that need to be replaced with high quality investments? Here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you give us a call right now and have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and certified financial planner, Courtney Dominguez, will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a review just like this. We're gonna look at everything. If you bring in your statements, we're gonna go through, build a portal for you so we get a bird's eye view and look at all the critical components. We're gonna look at income. Do you have an income gap? Can we replace that? Can we optimize the income on your portfolio but make sure we're doing it with the least amount of risk? We're gonna look at fees. What hidden costs do you have in your portfolio? Do you have a lot of expensive annuities? Over 3% this couple's paying. What kind of fees are you paying? Do you have high cost mutual funds? We're gonna show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're gonna look at diversification. This couple had a lot of money concentrated in one area of the market, energy. Do you have proper diversification in your portfolio? Are you protected if the market goes down? We're gonna show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're gonna tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that age old question. 
Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we've been working on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. We have a few slots left, and all you have to do is text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. We'll create for you our total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no strings attached, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Another fantastic show this morning. Courtney C. Money Dominguez, as we call you <laughs> here at Bank Capital. Thanks for being on the show. Of course. Thanks for having me, as always. Big Bob, what's on tap for the rest of the weekend? Well, Rye, I got uh, the World Cup, and I also have the Open, the British Open, one of my favorite golf tournaments of the year. I am just in, like, TV heaven this weekend. <laughs> I'm excited for you, Bob. Well, have a great weekend, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.